Drake is Thanos going up against the world. He finally responded to the Metro booming situation. One of Drake's songs got leaked, and in that song, he spoke on everyone in this picture. He told Kendrick as what's a prince to a king, he a son. And he said he don't care what Cole think, that doc said we could fuck champagne tripping. He not f easy up. And for future, he said he can't be nobody number one fan. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. I'm not finna cap, but lots of future biggest songs are always draped. I just checked. He cooked his ass. He said, Metro, shut your up. Make some drums, ninja. Rick Ross, he said, I might take your latest girl, cuff her like Ricky. I can't believe he's jumping in. This turning 50. Every song that made it on chart, he got from Drizzy. Worry about whatever going on with you and... And for Weekend, he said, claim the six and the boys ain't come from it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing at bell bread out here ticking shit we do it for the bees he doing it for the angels weekend just responded with a photo laughing after that shit. and ray cross did the same shit. he was just laughing at drake ass i don't know what's funny because the main reason everybody beefing with drake is because drake is a grimy motherfucker that damn near smashed most of the females they mess with because if y'all ain't know lots of motherfuckers are saying drake smashed rick ross shorty i guess rick ross and his shorty end up getting into it or whatever you know what drake did he sent her a personal invite to one of his concerts, and she actually went to them. That's normal for Drake. He literally did the same thing to Lil Wayne, and Lil Wayne is the reason why Drake is on. Drake is the type of motherfucker that literally smash your female while you locked up. That's what he literally did to Lil Wayne. And y'all know Drake already smashed ASAP Rocky Girl. He literally said in one of his songs that Rihanna Coochie is not good. I'm like, damn, he just speaking on everything. I understand why the whole industry is going up against Drake. He really bogus as hell. But Drake don't give a fuck about none of that shit. He's still gonna diss their ass in the That's a Man, listen, Drake fans are not gonna wanna hear this. But I don't care. This is my page. Go somewhere else. Where I'm from, dudes like Drake are called lames. You corny, you do anything for attention. You do anything to actually fit in with one specific group. Or in his case, multiple groups. And I feel like his need for acceptance has clouded his judgment. Half the industry don't like you now. And nine times out of ten, it got something to do with either you trying to be something you not and then calling everybody else frauds or lying about your entire life and then getting caught right after. I could never have a kid and be out here still kidding around. You stole that whole flow on KMT from X. Women could smell a lame, bruh. You think Rihanna don't know her career could have been poof with him, but she wanted ASAP because ASAP's not a cornball. Man, listen, Drake fans are not to hear this. J. Cole's cornball. He's creative. He make okay music, but it's boring. He make boring, boring music. Drake, first of all, Drake never got back up Pusha T. He's a cornball. Drake always been a cornball. Drake came in as a cornball. Drake is not black American. Drake is not from the culture. Drake is a Jewish man. Drake is a Canadian. Black American is not his culture. His father can't make him black American. Nigga, just because you're mixed doesn't make you're a black by default. Just because white people don't accept you doesn't mean black Americans don't accept you. Nigga, you can't, there is no black American born in a white womb. There is no black American seed of a, of a white penis. That just, it just doesn't, it doesn't exist. Both your parents have to be black American to be black American. You're other. Drake grew up as a Jew in, Jew in white Jewish culture. When your mom Jewish, that makes you Jewish. He's a Jew. There is no reason why he should ever say the N word because we can't say the K word. He be, he's saying nigga, nigga, nigga all the time. I remember he first said Lil Wayne was a nigga. He said it with the hard R. He's not used to this. So when, so, so when Rick Ross called him a white boy, that's exactly what he is. He's a white boy. He's a white boy. He's no different from Vanilla Ice. He's no different from Eminem. The only reason why he sells records is because for one, OVO is a sweatshop. Nigga, he doesn't write. He get he get he get he get he get reference tracks. People write his. He take ideas from other artists and he he create his himself. And anybody who's hot and new, he gets on their track like Jay Z do. He just he just he just culture vultures. He has a whole career of culture vulturing. He don't rap good. We seen him on Flex. He can't really rap. We know he can't rap because any real spitter nigga will murder flex. He, 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 he exposed himself. Reference tracks. Meek Mills exposed that Nicki Minaj. He, he, for, so, so for one, he's not respect. He's not an MC. He is not an MC. He's a fucking pop star. He's a pop tart. He's sweet. And the only reason why women like him is because he has money. I remember he was, he, 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 he was a dork. He's still a dork. Only bad winches like Drake. Only these dark skinned, Women with butt shots and, you know, DBLs and, you know, 
weaves like Drake. Drake had a kid by a hooker, a stripper, a, a, a sex worker, or, you know, a woman of, you know, who would have been on, on porns by a white woman. He, and, and his son looks slow. It's like he's like Slowest looking nigga I ever seen in my life. Slow. Adonis is slow. Anyway, he appeared to be slow. But don't disrespect the kids, but it, it just appeared to be it just appeared to be slow to me. Anyway, we ain't gonna acknowledge that Pussy Steve murdered him. Just like we ain't gonna acknowledge that Remy Ma murdered Nicki Minaj. Like that, that should have been career ending. We we're just gonna move past. See, we're in the era of weirdos. Only weirdos like Drake. Niggas don't play, men don't play Drake. No, no, granted. Now, the nigga got Marvel Room, fire. Nigga, Drake got some shit. Key, key, popping. Like, he, Drake, that, 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 that controller. He see that he stole that, but it was still popping. You know, he had, he had the weekend, you know, that, um, loving the crew, fire. Nigga, I, I got some Drake. Nigga, I ain't gonna go wrong. Drake song, because I know he ain't writing, but I still enjoy the music. Like, like Cardi B don't write raps, but I love Cardi B music. I, these, these are artists. These are puppets. These are entertainers. This, not, never confuse a real artist. Artists are people who create. Entertainers are people who just, you know, recite things. You know, they're actors. Drake is an actor. He's acting like he's a rapper. He's acting like he's American. He's acting like he's from the culture. He's not. He's not. He has a white, he has a white mom. He has a, he's from, he's from a white, can, white culture. He has a white baby mom. This nigga's not black. But, but for some reason, everyone acting like Kendrick Lamar, who's, a, who's really from the hood, from West Side Power Rule. First of all, we act like Kendrick Lamar is some kind of, some type of dork. And I, I too act like he's a dork sometimes. But Kendrick Lamar is smart. I believe he might have been involved because I heard his music. He's he, he get caught a body. He's from West Side Paru. All his niggas is Paru. And now y'all y'all might not know what West Side Paru is. Paru was the original first, the first blood set. AC Babalu, Pudding, Tam, LB. These are the front liners of the West Side Paru. If you already heard somebody that they claim Paru, nigga, his set is the original set. Anybody blood, his set is one of the original sets. It was it was it was a West Side Paru bounty hunters. You know. Inglewood families in different lanes, all of them made a, the first, but but these, his hood is, is something special. Compton, West Side, Paru, official. Kendrick Lamar sees some shit. Kendrick Lamar is a black American. Kendrick Lamar is the only one who can say he's a black American. Drake can't say he's black American because he's not American and he's not black. He's other. Like I said, learn this. Mixed people are not black because you can't call them white. And they have more white in their blood than they have black. I'm explain how. There is no 100% black American. We all got like 10%, 20% white in us. So when you have, so when you already got 10% white in you and you have white, that means you got 60% to 80% white blood in you. You're not black. You're mostly something else. You're white, if anything. Especially if your mom is not black. You're definitely, there is no mulatto that's considered, you, you could consider them black with a white mom. That's just not happening. No, 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 no. At least, at the very least, I could consider you kind of like, you know, black if your mom's from the hood and you know, your mom was doing some bad winching. But that ain't the case. What happened is Drake's mom is a mud shark. She's a mud shark. Like, 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 like J. Cole's mom is a mud shark. She's a white lady. She's, this, is, this is a mud shark. This is mud sharking. Mud chooking it up. <laughs> mud shark. You did much shooking it up. You know what I'm saying these mud sharks. So they're not. First of all, shouldn't shouldn't two out of three of the main people in hip hop should be an immigrant, two mulattoes, and one black American? By default, I don't care what Kendrick Lamar say. He's better than both of them. He won because he's from the culture. He's from the life. He's from the hood. He's from poverty. He's from food stamps. Nigga, he from grandma house. Drake ain't got a grandma house, nigga. Now, can you, now, 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 J. Cole, he's from Fayetteville. I've been to Fayetteville. Fayetteville was pipping bitches at the gas station. I seen that. Fayetteville was just trapping nigga. Them dumb country road walking niggas. Is, that's, that's black American shit, too. If he's from really from the Ville, you know what I'm saying? But man, his mom's a mud shark, so that those points for that. You're not black, you're not black enough. And it's a thing called you're not black enough. Nigga, if, if, if your mom or your, when your dad is something else, you're not black enough. I don't care if it's Portuguese. I don't care. It's a, but it's exception to the rules. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say some exceptions. I'm being biased. 
My my little cousin Troy, <laughs> his mom is white. His dad raised him. My nigga Thomas raised him. He's from Supan House. Nigga, he's, he's cripping. This is my little nigga. Nigga, he don't, he don't fuck with no white people. He don't like white people. He has blue eyes and blonde hair. This nigga is the white boy Troy. Straight nigga. So it's always exceptions, but he's still not really black. But nigga, you can't tell, I can't tell him he ain't black. You know what I'm saying? And I know what y'all saying. I I can't determine who's black or not. I guess I could. Nigga, you're not black. Now, light skin is different. Light skin niggas is different from mulatto, but that's a whole different topic. Now, could you Lamar don't respect Drake never did? And Drake been nothing but, you know, a good friend to Kenji Lamar is a real shit. Put him on the song, put him on tour, shout him out. You know what I'm saying? But the bigger Drake got, the bigger he... See, Kenji Lamar make Drake insecure. Because Kenji Lamar is everything Drake want to be, but Drake can never be. Kenji Lamar is American. Kenji Lamar is... He, he's confident in his blackness. Kenji Lamar has black American content. He has, he has, he has struggle music. He has riot music. He's talking about the cause, the black struggle, being in the hood. Drake can never do. All Drake music is popcorn, bubblegum, fast food, cotton candy, lollipops, and, and, and Lucky Charm. It's all garbage. It's all, it's all fun dancing music, but Drake music have no content. It will forget about Drake. This is the minute Drake stop rapping, the minute we forget about him. Kenji Lamar body work will live forever. Like Marvin Gaye, like Tupac, like, 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 you know, like. Temptations, David Ruffin, um, Curtis Mayfield, people who ain't got real. Like, like I'm, saying, I'm saying, like, like you don't need like big bodies of work to be held high in society as long as your music is relevant and connected to the people. Drake music does nothing outside of a car, outside outside of a club. Drake music don't make you think. Drake music don't push you politically. Drake, Drake music don't get you through no struggle. Drake music is not black American music. Drake music is pop music. Singing the melodies is, 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 is estrogen music. It's, it's some of the worst music. S some of it's fun. You know, everything he, 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 put, he put numbers on the board. He has a team that keeps him, keeps him with some of the best up to date. But as far as this, this, this new diss song, it's not like, it's not like AI. It's not something we heard before. Rick Ross' song was kind of straight, but it wasn't like really hitting. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, this was cool. It was, was kind of cool. But keep in mind, we had The Bridge is Over. We had Fuck With Dre Day. We had No Vaseline. We had Hit Em Up. We had straight, no, no, Captain City G's. You know what I'm saying? Like we had like hard disses. Like, even in modern terms, Seether was one of the hardest discs. She killed Nicki Minaj. Adonis, the story of Adonis by Pusha T. Hard. Hard. Ether, hard. Jay-Z, is that your bitch? Oh, this is hard disses. Drake disc is trash. Drake back to back was kind of cool because it was it was trash. Drake is trash. Now, no, me and Drake the same age, so y'all can't blame on me. And, nigga, we just, he's trash. J. Cole is not trash, but he's boring. He's, he's, he's boring. And he, he don't have a real black American spirit. He has like a college nerd hippie. But he has real nigga in him. Keep in mind, did he slap Drake? Drake done told the niggas who took his chain in Canada. Like Drake's a real, he's a real, he's a flower. I mean, he's a, he's a flower. He's a sugar flower. He's a sugar plum. He's a cupcake. He's a Drake is a cupcake, and y'all act like he's he is he's not this nigga. He's a Jewish person. If he wasn't, if Drake had two black parents, Drake would be irrelevant. Drake would be Ja Rule. Drake would be Nelly. The only reason why he's lasting so long is because he's half Jewish. He has the best lawyers, and I'm pretty sure he's connected. His father was 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 you know was somebody in the music. He's nepotism, but nigga, that's why nigga. And he takes everybody's steam. He 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 jacks everybody. He has a whole crew of writers and and thought. Nigga, he he's trash. Kendrick Lamar is a black American who writes his own songs, does his own thing. Like Tupac, that's why like Tupac was better than Big. You know, Big was a Jamaican, but Big was dope. But Big didn't make you know. He didn't make culture music. He didn't make a keep your head up, a uh, 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 dear mama. He didn't make a um, Brenda's got a baby. These are things black Americans could fail. See, you could cater to white people all day. You could be an Elvis. 
You could be a vanilla ice. You could be an Eminem. But that don't make you great. See, we, we confuse success and numbers. White people can make anybody successful. Look, white people made um Cardi B successful. They made Ice Spice successful. They made Sexy Red successful. See, success doesn't mean nothing because white people have a switch. Either you're successful or not. But a black person could defy the switch by, by pure talent. <clears throat> pure talent. Drake doesn't have pure talent. Think about this. Besides rap, where can you find somebody like a Drake background shining at? Like, let's let's because anybody can do rap. Rap could be faked. There is no athletes. There was no there's no heavyweight champions that's half black and half white. There is no heavyweight champions that's um that that that, that don't win races in the Olympics. There's no half black or white, you know, um civil rights leaders that had a, you know, a white mom. There is no, there is nobody significant. That's half black, half white, especially that's half black and Jewish. There is nobody. You know why? Cause it doesn't exist. These people are not talented. You don't get talented for mulattoes. You don't get, you don't get special people for my That's why, that's why he's so, that's why he's so insecure. That's why he's so much of a bitch. That's why him fucking your girl means something to him. We don't kiss. He real niggas don't give a fuck if you fuck our bitch. That's how Drake get at you by fucking your bitch. He has money. He got bribers. He got shopping. All that cornball goofy shit. Money gives Drake power. Drake is an insecure. He's a dweeb. He's a dork. Kitchen Lamar don't care about the fame. He just great in his own right. He don't come up every year. He does what he want to do. Drake doesn't have a classic album. He don't have a, 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 a Mad City, good, good good Kid Mad City. That album was a whole concept, like Ready to Die. That album was a classic. Drake don't have a Ready to Die. He don't have a Chronic. He don't have an Infamous. He don't have a Machiavelli. He don't have an All Eyes on Me. He don't have a um have a Miss Education on Lauryn Hill. He don't have an It Was Written. He don't have an Illmatic. He don't have a Blueprint. He don't have a, he don't have nothing you could put in, on, on that shelf. Can you look more do? The nigga bodies of work. I know some of y'all been, yeah, yeah, yeah. listen, Kitchen Lamar got a body of work. You listen to it, nigga. Some of y'all niggas is, some of y'all niggas is, is, is too ignorant to listen to some educational shit. Nigga, Kitchen Lamar got it. He's cultured. Nigga. He got, he embodied James Brown. Drake ain't never embodied James Brown. Drake ain't never body a, 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 um, um, a Ron Isley. He can never, he can, he can never embody David Ruffin. He can't. He can't. Drake is an outsider looking in that got that got to participate because because the white government. It's because the white people own it. If 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 black people see, there is no way a Drake's supposed to exist within black culture. He should always just be a fan. Like a Cardi B should never exist within black culture. She's always be an outsider. Always be a fan. I spice and these people are not black Americans. They should not even be in our culture. These people doing some Canadian shit. We don't know what Canadian music is. We don't know what Trinidadian music is. These people have to, these people are leeches and tethers. They have to come amongst us to get any success. Nigga, that alone makes Drake a loser. Because people don't like Drake. People like success. People like fame. People don't respect Drake's body of work. Nobody does. They lying. Nigga, Flex couldn't stand Drake. But it's, see, but it's, it's when you're successful and you got money behind you and real niggas behind you, people act like you're, people act like you're cool. Drake, get a, he, 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 he gets, people get to act like he's cool. The reason why Drake can get robbed in Compton is because, you know, the rap a lot, nigga. DJ Prince, you know, cash money, nigga. But he's a dweeb. He was, he, he, Drake is not comfortable. Drake is not comfortable amongst black Americans. Drake is not, Drake don't know nothing about black American culture. His dad, maybe, I don't know what his dad is either. He's dad, I don't know what type of black his dad is, but I'm assuming he's a black American. My father can't make me a crip because he was a crip. Nah. Nigga, if my dad was a doctor, doesn't don't make me a doctor. Nah. Drake dad is black, but it don't make him black. He has black blood. Black, but I don't make you black. Drake is white passing. Nigga, do, do you think Drake paper, you think Drake birth certificate says black? Do you think his ID says black? Do you think Drake put black on the census? Hmm? Do you think Drake is counted as a black? Nigga, no. No. Drake is a cornball. But not, 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 not like I'm Drake Haken. I don't, well, whatever. Nigga's not talented. He's, he doesn't move me, but he, he makes some songs for the bitches. Okay, that's his lane. Stay in your lane, dweeb. Stay, stay your dork ass in the dork place, little white boy. Use a little, use a little white boy. I don't know why we pretending like these mulatto niggas, these mixed people are black. No one, mixed people are not black. But it's, you know what, let's stick to the lyrics. 
Kendrick Lamar has the aggression, has the background that Drake can never have. Drake sound robotic. He sound the same in every song. It's corny, not creative, boring. Metro Boomin is he's not as who? Why is this hyper Metro Boomin? His beat, his beats is corny. They, 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 they lukewarm. They, they, they ain't no special beats. He ain't making no Dr. Dre type beats. This nigga ain't making no premiere. I like premiere. He ain't making no. No havoc type beast. He ain't making no rizzle type beast. He ain't making no groundbreaking. Y'all niggas be gassing these lukewarm niggas. These these loop these niggas be getting loops and samples. These niggas is corny. Yo, hip hop that became so corny because we got niggas like Drake, Ice Spice, and J Cole, and these mulattoes and immigrants coming to our culture. Ever since the immigrants came into our culture, Drake is an immigrant too. Nigga, our rap been whack. Ever since we let white people and immigrants and, and mulattoes into our culture, it been because it's watered down. It's watered down, nigga. We 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 should never support nobody mix. Never never support nobody mix. We should never support no immigrant, and we should keep a black American. We should only support black Americans. It's our culture. Why we let anybody else in our culture? Why we consider? Anybody else, nigga, we can't, we can't go in no culture. We can't go, we can't go in, in, in no Latino country and do what they do. We can't go to Canadian. We can't, we can't go to Africa and do what they do. They let us know we're black Americans. Anytime we do something else, they let us know, no, you're black American. No. Why we let anybody else in our culture? Huh? How come we always got to be the, the, the nice guys? How come everybody come in the feed of us, but we can't feed of nobody else? We can't feed of Jewish culture. We can't feed of white culture. But Jews and whites can come here and they could, a Canadian nigga is successful in America and we put in a Canadian nigga at the top of a nigga. That, how does that sound? Nigga, where's the nigga, where's your loyalty at? Like before anything, okay, now nah, some of y'all are stupid. Some of y'all are your own downfall by supporting other people who want to replace you. You supporting people who want your spot. Drake, Drake, nigga, Drake is a dork. He's supposed to be a fan. Cardi B is not a rapper. She's supposed to be a fan. She's supposed to be stripping. She's supposed to be making music. We're gonna lose a whole culture by supporting these people. Bad enough we fought to get them to get black immigrants here. Now we come in here and determine us against us ASAP. They ain't even in large numbers yet. They're about 10% of us. And they're already ops already. Nigga, if if we, imagine in the future where we get 50% of immigrants in, 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 in the black American spaces. It's over for us. Nigga, we got to put the, the gates up. Nigga, stop supporting, stop listening, stop watching people who ain't black American. Who doing black American things in our culture. Support them in their culture. Don't don't let them in ours. I'm telling you. Nigga, we're going to lose everything. We don't got nothing that is as it is. It's better we all fight white people in our culture. Jack Harlow's, he's, 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 he's a dork. Lil Dicky, he's a dork. Um, that nigga Matt Lamore was a dork. These people are, these things, Eminem is a dork. These people are dorks, but Eminem take it a little more seriously, but his music is, 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 doesn't, mean, doesn't mean it's irrelevant. He's a dork. Start calling people dorks. Don't, don't matter if you could, so what people call you a hater? So what? Nigga, embrace being a hater, because nigga, now we got to hate. Now we got to hate, because they ain't us. We should hate anybody in our spot who ain't us. We should hate anybody that's doing what we're doing who ain't us. We should hate anybody invading our space. We should hate anybody who not paying us. They get Drake should be paying us. You know, he's getting pimped by black Americans. Drake is paying us. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Like Cardi B is, is, is she's a, she sees peace paying too. Cause you know, they don't own these are not bosses. These are puppets. But I'm just saying we shouldn't embrace them. They shouldn't be successful. This should get a million, this should get no views. This should get zero support by black Americans. We should, we, we should zeroly support anybody that's not black American. And that's my message. Stop supporting immigrants. Stop supporting nigga, any immigrant, black nigga, white immigrant, black immigrant. If they're doing black American culture, nigga, all that shit, all these Indians and Asians doing this black American, nigga, shut it down. It's called it garbage. Thumbs down. Nigga, hate it. Hate it. Because they're coming to replace you, and then when they replace you, they're going to shit on you. The minute they, as they go up, they're going to act like everything's cool, but the minute they get in position, they're going to shit on you. Just like Kai Sinat. They're going to use your fame. But the minute they get it, they're going to shit on you. It's a big podcast. Man, like, share, subscribe, man. I'm back at it.